South Carolina Oak to Barrel, a small business in Bamberg, opened about a year ago. With us now is David Hutto. He is the general manager, and we were just in the back, and we're looking at the barrel. So let's let's kind of talk about the process. You actually make by hand these oak barrels for distilleries like Burnt Church. Yes, we get a rough zone dimensional staves. We mill them into stave sets for barrels. Then we assemble them all together right here and steam them, bend them, char them, and toast them to the distiller's request. Now the charring and the toasting we just saw with the fire, what, what does that do to for the for the barrel and then ultimately for the spirit? It uh it enhances the flavor. It brings the sugars, the caramels, the vanillas, all that out in the inside of the barrel a little bit better and adds the color and filtration for the spirits while they're in the cask. And you use white oak. Talk about that. Where do you get the lumber? Um, we use all American white oak. Uh, it comes out of the Appalachian Mountains and the northern part of South Carolina, okay. the very northern part of South Carolina. And so you provide these oak barrels for between 35, 40 distilleries throughout the country. Actually, we saw a whole group of the barrels going to Ireland, actually. Yes, we provide barrels for 25 or 30 distilleries here in the U.S. And we have a, we also export them to Ireland, Europe, and that area right in a second. So it's mostly whiskeys, or, 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 but you also provide barrels for wine. No, we only provide for whiskey now. Okay. Wine is an option later on that we are looking at down the road in our expansion. So we were talking about you have about 20 employees now, and you hope in five years to expand to like 120 and grow this business and the jobs for Bamberg and the Lowcountry. Yes, we hope to grow up to at least 120 employees, 122, I think, in five years, and the increased production and just continue to help the community as much as we can. Right, so you're born and raised in Bamberg, so what are companies like this um, with local entrepreneurship growing um, in this area, what does it really do for these rural counties? It really helps the more we get here and the more we can do for the county is just to help people get jobs, keep jobs, and right helps the basic way of living. Right, the quality of life. Yeah, quality of life. So Dave, David, one of the distilleries that you provide barrels for is Burnt Church, which is down in Bluffton. So that's a wonderful collaboration and talk about why that's so positive. We're local, local businesses, local investors, all creating jobs and improving the quality of life in South Carolina. It's just a, I mean, it helps everywhere. I mean, it's also neat to have a distiller so close to us being here, I mean, because we can, I can go down there and visit with them. They can come up here and visit with us. Actually, we've already done that. Mm -hmm. I went down there to visit with them, and I think uh, Pete Thompson, their head distiller, he brought his distilling crew here. Okay, very good. Um, and hopefully one day I'll get to take all my crew to, to him one day. So you started, or they were doing like small barrels, and from, you know, what I understand is you all created a 53 gallon barrel put their logo on it and they were sold they were ready to begin using you right down the yeah right I down think, the road i think well they are trying to increase their production as well so we just a 53 gallon barrel holds a higher volume for them and it the more volume volume you can hold in the barrel the less rick rick out space or storage space you're going to need for it right so again the vision the future as general manager where do you see more jobs more product in the next five, 10 years? Yes, a lot more product. We hope to be somewhere around that 300 barrel mark a day in the next five years and with uh, 122 jobs, yeah. um, fully expanding on the seven acres that we have here. Very good. Thank you, David. Appreciate Thank the interview you. with you today. David Hutto, General Manager of South Carolina Oak to Barrel. Coming up after the break, we'll head to Barnwell County where Cascades is making a difference by manufacturing tissue paper products through a very sophisticated recycling process.